A question I frequently receive is, how do I sync my files from Teams to my computer so that it's easier to get to them? There are lots of things to keep in mind when syncing files from Microsoft Teams to your computer, and I'll talk about all those today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello, and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to show you how to sync your files from Teams to your computer. The first question you might ask is, why would I want to do that? The reason is that when you have a, let's say, folder from Microsoft Teams files, saved on your computer, you can make changes within that and it will automatically sync to Teams. You don't have to always go to Teams to get to these documents. You'll have a folder on your computer right there. And then whether you are collaborating online with someone on the document, whether you're in Teams working on it, or whether you're on your computer, all of those changes sync. The next thing I want to give you is a few warnings about doing this sync. When you sync a file, from Teams to your computer, as I just said, everything syncs. So any change that you make on your computer syncs to Teams and vice versa. So for instance, if you have synced a folder and several other folders inside that to your computer, if you delete one of those folders, it deletes it on Teams as well. So you have to be very careful when you're working within the folders that you sync to your computer. The same goes for any files that are in these folders. If you delete a file, it deletes it on Teams as well. Now that you have the warning, I will explain how this works. It uses the OneDrive sync engine. So you may have noticed on your computer that you have OneDrive. That is just for you. That's just your documents. That same OneDrive sync engine runs the sync from Microsoft Teams files to your computer as well. So don't let that confuse you as we go through the process. That sync engine is just what runs the sync, which means going from the online to your computer and vice versa. Let's look at a quick demonstration of how to sync your files. Here we are in Teams and I'm in the Teams area. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to the files that you want to sync. I want to go to my general channel for the Gateway Productivity team, and I'm going to go to the Files tab up here. And you can see we have many things stored in this file. I would like to have all of this sync to my computer. The way I do this is once you see exactly what you want synced, so if you want the 2023 folder only to sync, you want to go inside that folder. Right now that folder is empty, but if there was something in there, you could sync from here and it would only take this one folder. So it's always what you see is what will sync. That's the first thing to keep in mind. Now that we see exactly what we want to sync, I'm going to click the sync button up here and it will give you a little notification and then it will connect to that OneDrive sync engine that I talked about. And it automatically should pull in the email address that's tied to your Teams account. So we'll go ahead and sign into that. Once you have your password in there, you can sign in. And if you have some security features on your account or with your company's account, then you may see something like this and you'll need to go to your phone to take care of that piece. Once you've entered all the information that you need to, you'll be brought to this screen. And this will show you where it's going to save that folder. And here we can see that it has the company, which is Gateway Productivity. And then this here is the team dash the channel. So now we'll walk through some of the informational pieces that OneDrive is going to give you. Once you've gone through all of the OneDrive screens, then you may be brought to this area and you could close this out. And if it doesn't automatically open your folder for you, you can do that down here with your file explorer. I have another one open, so I'm going to open this here. And then now if I scroll all the way to the bottom and yours may not be all the way to the bottom, but it'll be close. You should see a little building icon 
with the name of your company. If you click on this, then the inside this folder is exactly what we synced. So now you can see if I drag this down, the things that are in Teams are also in this folder on my computer. Now let's say that you didn't actually want every single folder syncing to your computer. For instance, I don't need the historical data in 2021 or 2022. In order to change this, I will go down to my bottom bar and go to this bottom right area that has all of your different little icons. This tells you the things that are running on your computer. You're looking for the blue cloud. We can click on this and I'll move my picture out of the way. Once we do that, this is telling us the syncing status of all the different things that are inside that folder. If I want to change what is syncing, I can go to the gear here and choose settings. Then I'll move my picture one more time. And it may start you here in the sync and backup area. It might take you to account. Account is where you want to be. This gives me the information that I have a OneDrive that is completely separate. This gateway productivity dash general is what I want to pay attention to. And we can see that up here, gateway productivity general. And so I can choose which folders I want to sync. So I'm going to remove 2021 and 2022. I'm going to say, okay. And as a reminder, the reason that we want to do this this way is if I had gone in and deleted 2021 and 2022, those folders would have gone to my recycle bin and they would have disappeared from the Teams folder. They would have gone to a recycle bin there as well, but you don't want to do that to your coworkers and your team. So instead, the right way to do it is to go to this OneDrive sync engine, go to account, and then go to choose folders. Again, the great thing about doing this sync between the Microsoft Teams files and your computer is that if I come in here and I go to the testing sync document, I make changes that will carry over automatically to the Teams document because they are synced together. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos? If so, click the subscribe button that's below the video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. If you get to the point where you no longer need a synced folder, you can come to this same place. We'll do this again so that you can see it. We're going to go down here to the blue cloud. We're gonna to go to the gear and then settings and then account. And again, we're paying attention to this one which is our Gateway Productivity General. And I'm actually gonna close that in the background so that it doesn't get confused because I'm gonna remove this from the computer. So this time, instead of choosing folders, I actually want to stop the syncing. So I'm gonna choose that. It will give you a little heads up of what's gonna happen and I'm gonna unlink the account. And then it will probably bring you back here to try and set something else up. You can close this if you don't need to do that. Now, if I go back to my file explorer, you can see that the little building icon has gone away. The last thing I want to explain is what the syncing icons mean. Once you have that sync set up between your computer and the Microsoft Teams files, you may see any number of these different icons. The first one, the little glimmer, which is the three little blue lines, just means that this is a new file. A red circle with a white X means that the file or folder can't be synced and there should be information down. Remember, if you go to the blue cloud and go there, it should tell you what needs to happen. If your cloud at the bottom has a slash through it, that means you're not logged in currently. You can click on the cloud and log in. The cloud with a pause symbol means that files are not currently syncing. And we saw that as an option. I'll go to my personal one so you can see this. Here you can see if you go to the gear, there is your pause syncing option and you can choose how long to pause for. So if you see the little pause icon on the cloud, that means you just paused syncing. And this can be helpful if you are working on something and the, the syncing is slowing down your computer for some reason. 
If you see circular arrows like this, that means there's a sync in progress for that file or folder. If you see a people icon next to the cloud, that means the file or folder has been shared. The cloud just all by itself means the file or folder is only available online. Now, this all is the same information if you use OneDrive. So this carries through to OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, all of those types of synced files. If the cloud is just on its own, that means that this is something that lives online. Once you click on it, it would download a copy to your computer. But the reason that it often defaults to this is to save space on your computer. So it's kind of like a shortcut. It's a shortcut to something that's available online. As long as you're on the internet, when you click on it, it'll make a download. If you're not on the internet, when you click, it'll give you an error because it can't reach out and get it from the cloud. If you see a green check mark, then this means that at some point you have clicked on the cloud and a file has been downloaded to your computer, but you have not indicated that you always want it to remain on the computer. That is the fully green bubble with the white check mark. That means you have chosen to always keep this file on the computer. Let's see how this looks in action. Now we're back in the folder on my computer that is synced to Teams. And what I can do is right click on a document. And this little section here will be about the syncing. This is where I can say always keep on this device. If I choose that, it takes it a second. You see the blue circle, the blue arrows in a circle, and then now you see the solid green with the white check mark. This means that I have told the OneDrive sync engine that I want this document to always have a hard copy on my computer and not necessarily just live in the cloud. You can see these other documents still have the clouds, which basically means they're a shortcut to the web version of the document. However, if I open this, I just double clicked on it to open it. And here's our document. When I close it, now you can see this has the white circle with the green check mark. Again, that was because I opened it once, which means at this time there's a copy on the computer, but I didn't indicate that I always need to have a copy on the computer. And now I could go and right click on this once I'm done looking at it. Let's say this is a huge file, it takes up a lot of space. I can say free up space, and then it will become the shortcut again and only lives online. And as a reminder, you will need to have internet access to access the ones that have the cloud. This is really important if there's something you need to work on on your computer while you're on an airplane and you need to be in airplane mode or off Wi-Fi. You can make sure you go in here and right click and always keep on this device for the things that you need to work on while you're on the plane and then once you're done and you're back at home or back at work, you could right click to save space and you could do free up space again. So that's an example of the different icons that you'll see. I hope this video has helped you to better understand syncing your files from Microsoft Teams to your computer. And as a reminder, Anything that you change in the folder on your computer that's synced will change in Teams. So be very careful about deleting things. If it's truly something you need to delete, that's fine. But just know that it will also disappear in Teams. If you still feel like you're having trouble with this or any other tech challenge, feel free to schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now. Or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button to schedule a time. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.